go. That was easy. The Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Take a look into your... Do you believe in... F 
Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always... <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents a hesitation and mystery. There, it seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Tend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is eating. <laughs> At first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. <clears throat> the scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... 
Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? 
Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your... I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh. I should get back to work. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. All right, let's have a tow. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family, so make yourself at home. Uh, 
Uh, right. Are you into mili- Well, anyway, let's eat. Ugh, oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. My dad's a detective. Secretary Taro Namatame, his wife, Enka Ballad Sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that, in response, iTelevision has decided to. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your tunes. Every day is great at your tunes.
aren't you going to eat? Breakfast.
Good morning. Okay. Let's eat. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is more Oka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. There's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka. Your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just cause it's spring, doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Now I hate wasting my time. But I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. 
And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already! He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to re- That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers.
Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Duh! You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere and... He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. That's okay. Well, it's just... I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. Uh, this is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come 
on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, are, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Shh. Thank 
Then again, that was way over the top. I mean, it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. is all um uh, i'm sorry for dragging you into this come on let's go everybody is staring So you came here because of your parents' job? There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way! It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? <laughs> I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? <laughs> Come on, stop it! You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could have...
could imagine that hanging from an antenna. I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? idea. Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... That's where Dad works!
I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a, a thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress and plan... on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. one of my class. Someone! <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky. So, you getting used to this place? Wow, that was fat. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air's clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You help... What about me, huh? No apology? Uh, my trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san, you s It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Saranaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and... Oh, um, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Oh, that's Saki. 
Aki Konishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey! Is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosy. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? Oh, I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local, family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. The flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that love. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say, that person's your soulmate. What? For a second I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? <gasps> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Shush! You shouldn't joke about... All I am saying is... You...
No, he always says he will. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural... It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Ya- <sighs> An interview with a kid? your mind when you saw it. Could you tell she was dead? Did... Uh, um... Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning, or a sign, from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a... Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? No? Jeez.
Thou art the one who opens the door. Are you okay? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. What's up with the body being hung upside down? Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo! Um...
it's a it's not really that important, but well, yesterday on TV, I uh Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. <gasps> By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. Well, if it had been bigger, that... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat-screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely! My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, 
What kind of TV are you guys in the market for? Oh, no, they said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? Is his arm... in the TV? Whoa... Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> Hell no! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore! Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? Boo! We've got a guy half stuck in a TV here! But what are we gonna do? Isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh... Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? I think my butt's cracked now. Of course it is! Whoa! Whoa what now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around.
Is this a, a studio? All this fog, or, or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Huh? But but Look, we need to get home and Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? You're right. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Well, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. It's getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Dude, 
this chair and rope? That kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Whew. We finally made it back here. There's something over there. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Like that. <laughs> 